vitamin D is 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 very crucial, um, and I've, I have found that uh, it was crucial for COVID nineteen. Uh, mm. I, I think there was a lot of evidence that most of the patients who did very poorly uh, uh, with COVID-19 infection, who had severe infections, ended up in the ICU or died, were vitamin D deficient. Uh, and, I, and I think that's been borne out by many studies. And, and you know, it, it seems to be the case in cancer as well. Uh, vitamin D seems to be protective uh, for cancer. So being having high enough levels of vitamin D seems to be protective for you developing certain types of cancers. Uh, but I think also as, as a cancer patient, um, it's important for you to have high levels of, of vitamin D. And, and so I always ask my patients, well, have you had your vitamin D levels checked? Mm. And they always say no. And, and they, they, always, they always say, my oncologist hasn't even brought it up. Uh, my oncologist hasn't tested me for vitamin that, D. That, I find that bemusing. I just can't explain why wouldn't you test for an important immunomodulator? Uh, and it's such an easy test. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not that it's a highly specialized <laughs> test or an expensive test. No. It's a simple test, uh, and I think it, it's, it's crucial. And so I suggest you know, high doses of vitamin D uh, supplementation, at least 10,000 uh, yeah. units uh, a day. If someone's low, for sure, yeah. Exactly. And, 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 and to have their levels checked. And I said, yeah. look, if your oncologist is not willing to do it, get your family doctor. Uh, to check your vitamin D levels, but very, very important for the immune system. Well, it, would, it wouldn't work in the UK because GPs have been told not to test for vitamin D unless someone's got rickets. Wow. Which again is quite inexplicable.